rest of the state to look up in the 64 to four, they take it to Taylor Rolfs, another integral part of this team for the Oilers. Oilers start a senior, one junior, no, a senior, three sophomores, and a freshman. So a very, very young team. Returning to state after one year absent, that thrilling but heartbreaking loss to Sterling last year at Sterling in the last seconds. Taylor gets a second one to drop, and that will make make the final score. That is the final score. Your Lady Oilers come away with a 60 to 44 win. They're going back to state. Congratulations to the Lady Oilers. Also, congratulations to the Islandwood Eagles. Tremendous season, 18 and five. Very, very successful season for the Islandwood Eagles. They've got a lot to be proud of. A lot of hardworking kids there too. For the Oilers, 12 out of 31, 39%. We will have the presentation of the trophies here in just a second. We'll bring that to you. Six out of 16 from three, and 18 out of 30 free throws for the Oilers. 12 turnovers, 25 defensive rebounds, 10 offensive rebounds, nine steals. Big difference in the game. Eagles, 12 out of 30 from two, two out of 24 from three. Ellenwood Eagles, Substate runners up. Congratulations to the Ellenwood Eagles. Great year. Came in as the number two seed and fought their way to the finals. The 2014 Girls 2A Substate Champions are the Central Plains Oilers. Lady Oilers. Julie McAtee, Carly Beck, and Brianna Holmes, the three seniors going up, getting the plaque trophy for the Oilers. Coach Stiles, Coach Rolfs, and the Lady Oilers really played well. Big smiles all around. Congratulations to the Lady Oilers.